is a proud day, an historic day, a wonderful day that we shall all remember because a gracious and lovely lady, a great lady in her own right, has come here to visit with us to make us proud of the fact that she is Southern born and bred. She's one of us. Four days ago, this gracious lady started out from Washington. She has gone through Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Now she has come to us in beautiful, progressive, wonderful Florida. We are proud to have her here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high privilege and my great honor to present to you the First Lady of the Land, the wife of the President of the United States, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. Friends, friends, my, my friends of Florida, what could be more wonderful than this gorgeous sunshine and, and this marvelous Florida welcome? This is our sixth stop in the state of Florida and our last one. And I'm telling you, I'm sorry to tell goodbye to you. <laughs> I'm delighted to be able to be here during the 50th anniversary year of the famous Pensacola Naval Air Station. Who, who would have dreamed that day in 1914 when the USS Mississippi steamed into Pensacola Bay with only seven aviators and seven aircraft that one day this would be the training ground for more than 4,000 flyers at one time? And who would have dreamed that, that a missile testing center like Eglin Air Force Base would come? Along with these military installations came payrolls. Along with these military installations came payrolls that are now pumping $160 million into the economy of your Florida panhandle. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the whole country is sending young men here to train for our nation's defense. And so, and so it's going two ways. Your country is, your part of this nation is making our country safe with its strength. And the federal government is helping the economy of your part of this country. And I'll tell you a man who knows more about this Florida panhandle and works harder for it than anybody you could just e ever want to find, and that's Bob Sachs. He's been my guide this whole way. <laughs> One of the pleasures I take in a political campaign is that they give me an unparalleled opportunity to learn more about America. And this morning, with Bob Sykes, I have learned much about your economy and also about the beautiful, restful side of your country, which I hope to come back and see another time. Right now, I've got some more important business. <laughs> but your fabulous Gulf Coast is going to be my objective uh, after we achieve victory in November. <laughs> My friends, 10 months ago, on a most awful day, my husband became your president. Behind him lay the experience of 12 years in the House of Representatives, 12 years in the Senate, three as your vice president. And into these last 10 months, he has poured all the energy, intellect, and heart he has to try to keep our country prosperous, 
preserve peace and plan for a greater America. You can tell what sort of a president he will make because you have lived through these 10 months along with us. I am proud of his record and I hope you will want to continue it. I thank you. And now, because I see so many young people in the crowd, I want to introduce you to my daughter, Lucy Bain. It's so good to be here, and I'm proud to be here, because I see so many young people my own age involved in something that I consider so very important. Because by your being here, you've shown to me and to the world that we do care, that we do want to learn. For we realize unless we learn today, we cannot lead tomorrow. And I just hope that we can use the reasoning powers that we have been able to achieve through our tremendous educational system so that although we may disagree, we may not be disagreeable. Because we realize the kind of leaders that we choose today will make the kind of country we will soon have to lead tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, very rapidly, very rapidly, we're going to introduce a few distinguished guests, and first, the distinguished, the outstanding junior senator from Florida, George Smothers. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. I know that we're all very, very proud to have with us today as the guest this very gentle, southern, sweet, wonderful lady who has respect for other people's point of view, who's willing to listen to the other side, but who's always polite enough, always polite enough to let other people have their say. We know that we're happy that she's here. We're, we're proud of the fact that we can greet her. Here in this particular area of Northwest Florida, we have more federal installations. We have more federal concern than they do in most any other area of this state. And when your very able Congressman Bob Sykes represents you in Washington, he's got to have somebody friendly that he can go and talk to who understands him, who understands this area, whom I know, whom Senator Holland knows. And we know that the way for us to continue to have this area grow and prosper in the future is to elect Lyndon Bain Johnson on November the 3rd. Now a hand, now a hand for Mrs. George Smathers, a hand for Mrs. George Smathers, she's here. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Doyle Connor, the Commissioner of Agriculture, a hand for them and a word from Doyle. Doyle? Thank you very much, Congressman Bob. It's a, it's a real pleasure to have the Johnson girls here in Florida. And, we, and I want you to know that the American farmers appreciate having President Johnson in the White House and we intend to keep him there. Now a word from the now a word from the Commissioner, the, the Secretary of Commerce, the Honorable Luther Hodges. Luther? Thank you, Bob Sykes. I want you to listen for just a moment, please. I'm a Democrat from North Carolina. We, we in North Carolina and Virginia and South Carolina and Georgia and 45 states of the Union are going to vote for Lyndon Johnson for president. <clears throat> Every family, in the, every family in America is today worth $1,200 a year more than it was worth four years ago, and that's because of the Democrats. <laughs> One other thing. You have 150,000 people in Florida on the federal payroll, and with all the things that Bob Sykes and others got you, if you can't do it sentimentally, do it practically. Vote for Lyndon Johnson for president and be his friend. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the majority whip of the House of Representatives, my good friend, Hale Boggs. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Hodges, Secretary Hodges, and I have been the co-chairman of this train. We have been aboard the Lady Bird Special since we started in Alexandria, Virginia, four days ago. And you know what? This is a sunshine special. It hadn't been a day that the sun hasn't shone on this train, and there hasn't been a time when the crowd hadn't been friendly and warm. And you, and you know why? This, this wonderful lady is a southern lady, just like you. <laughs> and you know why Mrs. Johnson is here and Lucy's here? Because they wanted to come here with their own people. Now, Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire, which have never voted Democrat, Democratic, are going to vote for President Johnson. <laughs> and Arizona, you know where that is, that's going to vote for President Johnson. And you know what else? Florida's going to vote for President Johnson. We are not thinking about letting Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire vote for our Southern president and us Southerners turn him down. God bless all of you for coming out here. It's a wonderful crowd, and you're so nice and so hospitable. <laughs> I serve in the House of Representatives. I'm the majority whip. It's my business to know congressmen. And if you had every congressman like Bob Sykes, you'd have the greatest Congress on earth. He, I love him, and I know you love him, and this whole nation appreciates him. Also on this platform, Governor Ellington, and with us, Congressman and Mrs. Charles Bennett, Congressman and Mrs. Billy Matthews, Mrs. Tom Bailey and Mrs. Paul Rogers, and right now a distinguished visitor from our neighbor state, and I want him to say a word, Senator John Sparkman, and then I'm going to leave you and thank you for the privilege of seeing you and for coming out here. Thank you very much. I know this train's got to leave here. It's going over to Alabama, you know. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here. I was here four years ago when the special came through. You had a great reception then. You've given us a tremendous reception this morning. Thank you very much. Once more, I want to tell you how it warms my heart how much I thank you, all you young folks, and all you mamas and papas, and, and all these good homemade signs, nearly about all of them. You're sending us on our way with a happy feeling. My husband will try to repay you with the best hard work and the most uh, devoted service to his country that he can produce. Yeah.